Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% play of Plutonia 2 and Ultraviolet with Fast Monsters enabled. This is map 12, Imprisoned. October 20th, two weeks ago, that's when my last Plutonia 2 video was. Yeah, I was a busy boy, and the Doom Eternal DLC came out of course, so hope you don't mind. But we're back. Back with a vengeance. This is map 12. And it's actually a pretty short map. So we're just gonna clear out this area. Get ourselves a secret super shotty. Very important. Unless you wanna shotgun the Hell Knights and uh, other tanky demons to death. And let's see, some sneaky shotgunners here need to die. I don't want them to snipe me. And a chain gunner didn't hit the revenant. Incredible. No, he did. Oh, that was a very low damage roll. See, I can be lucky sometimes. Alright. Here's another secret. Fully stacked. Let's go on a rampage. I'm waiting for the music to kick in. When the drums kick in. That's when shit gets real. It'd be any time now. And I've got the blue key. Oh, not yet. Yeah, this is such a Plutonia trap. Revenants and chain gunners. And it's not gonna be the only one. Also, obvious switch. Ah, here are the drums. Hell yeah. Oh, I forgot about you. Did it hit me through the wall? Wow. Anyway, that not so hidden switch opens up the wall here. And here you can grab a berserk. And that's it. It's just a berserk. Nothing else. See? Berserk. I'll, um... I'll save it for later, maybe. Uh, let's see with the blue key, so let's go... Open the blue door. And beware of the pinky behind you. And yeah, here's the reason why I want that secret super shotgun. Unless you wanna kill... The Kakuniman and the Hell Knights and the Revenants with the shotgun, it's not fun. Alright, there we go. Again, cheating Hell Knight. Again? Hey, stop it. Okay. So yeah, this room is very crowded, so we're just gonna... peek around the corner. And they will kill each other. Pretty much. Just gotta be careful that I don't catch too many projectiles here. Ideally, I want those Arachnitrons in the back to die, but they deal way too much damage, they survive. There's two Hell Knights behind this yellow door, so try not to wake them up or else they're gonna attack you while you camp around in this area. Okay, when the Mancubus dies, or Mancubi actually, it's two of them. I will try to kill the Arachnitrons. Yeah. Oh, hello. You didn't wake up. Alright, so when you get on the platform where the uh, Arachnids are, you can also spawn some Kaku Demons. Which I would like to kill with the Rocket Launcher, but grabbing the Rocket Launcher is tricky when the Arachnids are still alive. So I'm gonna take it slower and just take them down like this. Very boring, but dealing with Kakarimans without the rocket launcher is not fun. So here we go. Just gonna wait a bit. You know, in the meantime, we can kill these Hell Knights, maybe. I have a feeling I'm gonna catch a Kakarimans fireball. Let's see. 
All right, drums. Drums kicked in. Rocket launch time. Yeah, boy. There we go. That always pumps me up. Oh yeah, there's also a pain element outside. Let's see if we can kill him from here. No, don't go too far away. Ah. Come back. Ah, screw it. Let's kill him from uh, below. Come down. Should be there somewhere. Oh, yeah, there's a line of it that spawns imps. And also revenants, I believe. Not sure where they are. Nice teleporter. Ah, there they are. Alright, rockets. Rockets go. Poom, poom, poom. And I ran out, but there should be more. Did I miss any? Uh, no. Well, there's a box here. Did the pain element even die? I'm not sure if the pain element died. Always hard to tell because they don't leave behind the corpses. Oh! There you are! Oh yeah, and the chain gunners. There are two very annoying chain gunners that I cannot really kill right now because I don't have chain gun ammo anymore. Alright, Lasso, come down. Any chain gun ammo over here? Mm, no. Yeah, see those two windows over there? Well, I guess this works. I mean, Doom Shotgun is also a sniping weapon. Alright, another Plutonia trap here. Revenants and Chain Gunners. Not many, but still Plutonia. Yeah. Caught in the crossfire. There we go. Alright, so now we have the yellow key. Uh, what? Where'd you come from? So now I can go through the yellow door. I hear a demon here. Is that a lost saw? Not sure what that sound is. Anyway, let's drop down, quickly go through the yellow door. Because there are a lot of demons here. Also, my rockets are very low. There are two barons here that I want to kill. I think he's eating the baron. I think he got bitch left. Okay, we're getting close to the end, so... Told you it was a short level. I still have a feeling I'm... There are enemies here that I'm... Missing. I hear a lot of... Zombie sounds or mancubus sounds, I don't know. It's weird. Things because they have to teleport in. So yeah, here's the Plutonia trap of the map. The third one. The most Plutonia of them all. Look at that. Chain gunners and revenants. You just make a main fight. You can use this window to uh, distract the other chain gunners and then use the revenants to kill the other chain gunners. Just like that. And when they're done killing each other. 
focus on the revenants, and you're done. There we go. Now we're gonna infiltrate, infiltrate this base. Let's try something cool. Let's see if the imp can kill the Arachnitron for us. I shot the Arachnitron, so it's threshold. We'll take some time. Oh, never mind. It was worth a try. There are two Kakodemons here in the dark. Let's kill them from here, because it's easier. Catch a fireball if you want. And there's another Kakodemon up there. I'm gonna use this pillar here to dodge project us. Because I don't want to step on the floor where the imps are just yet. Because of this. And another Kakodemon woke up. It's a terrible spot to fight Kakodemons, by the way. It's too cramped and they have the upper ground. It's just annoying. I don't know if it's annoying or clever. I'd go with the second because apparently four people worked on this map. For some reason. Alright, did I miss anything? Nope, that's all the kills and secrets, so let's drop down and finish. So, let's look at that, four people, including PHDB666, which pretty much designed my favorite Harrowfield 2 level, so I'm not sure which part you did of this map, but I really had Harrowfield 2 vibes for, um, for this level, so... Um, it was kind of nostalgic. But yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, I would say it's a breather map compared to... Well, the previous ones, except... Uh, uh, especially 11, uh, map 11. I don't really have much to say about this. I mean, it's short, it's simple, it's... Yeah, it's okay. Not my favorite, but uh, very playable. So yeah, that is map 12. And map 13 is next, so I'll see you guys then.